Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today is a very exciting day because I finally get to start my push to a thousand medals using only one strategy. If you didn't watch my last couple of videos, I did sort of go over what the purpose of this was, but I wanted to start sort of a push in Boom Beach, but I wanted to spice it up. So I had you guys vote uh, a couple videos ago on what strat you wanted me to see. This strat, we can attack like the daily events with different strats, but for players, bases and probably resource bases we can only use this strategy until we reach a thousand and I might even extend it depending how good this works out and how quick we get it but the one exception is if a proto troop comes out then I can use that proto troop only incorporate it into this strat or just plain that proto troop but let's not waste much more time let's get our critical plugged in first actually cosmics no not an X, a C. There we go. Now supporting code Cosmic. Um, weekly reminder to get that plugged in. But anyway, let's hop into the battles. I haven't used this strategy before, but I'm excited to. And it looks like we have an extra ability, which is Remote Defibrillator for the lower level folks that just revives your troops. And you can kind of direct it wherever. But let's get our troops placed down. I saw this base has a ton of loot so i'm excited to hop into it we still have a couple upgrades to get and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use the remote defib to get some riflemen down because it's gonna it's gonna revive i guess medics i thought it would do some riflemen you can see there is a couple riflemen i'm using it almost as a box of critters and then we're going to get some shock bombs out as well so did i go over this strat so the strat is Three boats of Scorchers, a boat of Medics, and the rest are Bombardiers. It sounds very good at face value, and on this first base, it's looking pretty good. And we're going against an ice base with some prototypes. So, uh, yeah, I, I think we should be fine with it. And I'll get better. I've never attacked with it, so I don't know, like, the ins and outs of this strat. I know how to attack with Scorchers. Bombardiers, I haven't used them in a while, but they are just long range that do tons of damage at a time. I'm excited to get going. Look at that all that loot we got over a million gold i don't really need gold but we can uh, we can convert that eventually it looks like we lost a scorcher and a couple medics but down goes that first base and now we get to move on the loot is good this week look at that this would be like a couple weeks ago this is like the best i could find now it I, i'm gonna assume it's gonna be one of the worst i i hope it's just a trend and not coincidence of all the loot never know i could have just got lucky twice on the base how do we want to deal with this base i actually don't know really what i'm doing so i guess you can never go wrong with shock and the boom cannons i'll tell you that probably the shock launchers as well there we go we just gotta slide it a little bit under that sky shield and then once we get by it we should be able to just flare into the HQ and our bombardiers should be able to take it down because they do crazy damage. Let's get them flared and let's just pop some remote defibs, I guess. I could have threw some critters, but let's just revive some of our fallen troops, our fallen heroes of the attack. And down goes the second base. That was that was a bit more difficult than I, I... We only lost a medic and a bombardier, I think. So I guess it wasn't more difficult than the last base. It was taking a bit to get, to get into it, but now... Down goes base number two. We have reached above 700 medals and only uh, only 298 to go. At least that's our initial goal. We'll see beyond that. And what is up with the grapplers? There is a lot of grapplers we are going to be going against. That's fine. We'll be able to deal with it. I, I got to get more GBE statues because I think I only have two, maybe three right now. And I, I have one in storage, but I, I don't know what statues I want to pick up. I'll probably do the research reward once I fully max out the base, and then I'll be able to get another GBE out. But I'm not ready to lose my troop health. I know it's a bit silly, and GBE would be way more beneficial, but I like having the troop health because if I boost them all, and then my Scorchers have like over 200,000 HP each, and that's like, that's like a meme level of health. I kind of like having them down, but anyway, we're just letting our troops roam this battle. Joe here, uh, putting up quite a fight with his grapplers. We've lost one Scorcher, a Bombardier, and nothing else. I'm surprised the medics didn't like suicide yet. That'll come soon. I saw them like running into a minefield chasing after a Scorcher. I know the medics, it's weird having them in this combo because they'll just be healing up the Scorchers, but I think the point is, if like a rocket launcher or something peels onto the bombardiers 
then uh, this the medics can like kind of heal them up. You guys can see they're they're somewhat doing they're they're healing up a bit there. That was just two of them, and they don't do much healing on their own. It's that group healing. But anyway, down goes base number three. Retrain our troops, and we just need a bit of iron. But the thing is. If we come across no iron here, we can still get an upgrade. Plus, we still have an iron safe in our classified item. So, I'll probably use that. Not today, but eventually. I, I have a tendency just to hold on to them for nothing. And then it's like, well, what's the point of the classified item if you're not going to use it? I'll use that eventually. Maybe if I need to, like, convert some, in, uh, some iron into, like, raw crystals or something, then maybe I'll... I'll boost it up or use it and then convert it, but yeah. Anyway, this base was kind of just an AFK attack. We've let our troops roam. We've got a lot of energy, but we'll just invest that into artillery onto that HQ. Pound it down a little faster, and down goes base number four. So we haven't lost yet, but then again, the bases will get harder as we push up in metals. So I'll, I'll have my fair share of losses eventually but so far around 700 medals here you add scorchers to a strategy you're probably gonna win most bases but moving on let's do a couple more battles we can't do a full map clear today because i saw that one person was online but that's okay we just gotta we gotta put it ourselves in a good starting position here and then we'll get some shock bombs out all right we we want to take out those shock blasters they are so annoying dealing with the scorchers um, actually, thinking about it, the one on the right there, I probably just should have shocked it because there's so many boom cannons around and it would be a great shock bomb to shock that whole cluster right there. Let's get it down and this base, it's toast. We'll just throw a flare, on, we'll, we'll throw that flare onto the HQ a little early, but our bombardiers should be able to manage. These are pretty quick attacks. Bombardiers, they do a lot of damage, but they're pretty slow, so I'm a little bit surprised on the speed of the attacks. One of the attacks though, they they did seem quite slow. I was getting a bit impatient, but we gotta get used to it because this is the only strat we're gonna use. I, I don't even know how long this will take, but I gotta get used to it. All right, let's do one more battle um, and then we can get an upgrade and wrap today up. Exciting, not a lot of iron. Okay, let's scout out the other base in the ice region here. See what they have to offer, even less iron. Okay, find a different base. Sergeant Slaughter. I like the name. I like the iron he's offering. Let's get out here. Let's throw our scorchers down and then Is that grappler gonna be in range right away? Yes, it is. He's got two grapplers. I didn't see that. All right We are gonna keep that in mind. We don't want our scorchers taking a ride Because uh, we only got six of them. Oh one t one has taken a ride and I'm slow I, I gotta throw the smoke just so uh, we keep our scorchers alive. No, they're all taken. Oh my gosh. I missed that shock bomb onto both grapplers. I was aiming for it. It did not happen. But our scorchers are still alive under the smoke. So that's going to be beneficial because look at that. All the damage, all his defenses are going to be focused on those scorchers in the middle there. And our bombardiers, they're just chilling behind. And they are going to completely destroy this base. And there's nothing they can do about it. Let's get some scorchers out just to sort of speed things up. Maybe clear out some mines the bombardiers were potentially going to hit. Or maybe not. And we'll get some artillery on the HQ. Or I'll just throw a bunch of flares thinking it was the artillery. But it didn't matter because in the end we are taking this guy's iron. The only resource I really need to get an upgrade. Um, I might have had enough of it before even. But you can never have enough iron, right? My boom cannons, I think they're all maxed. Level. Yeah, finally, max level boom cannons. Now we got sniper towers and mortars to finish out here. I'm going to go for a mortar. I like mortars more than sniper towers, so I'm going to favor them. And then we'll just leave it there. Look at my base. It's become so disorganized. The initial design was nice, but then uh, I was like incorporating different prototypes into it and adding new defenses because I had this. I, I think I created this at HQ 22 and then you get extra defenses so now it's just kind of a jumbled mess to get to a thousand not that high of a metal count but I might need to think of a different base design I'll get to that eventually but creating bases in boom peach is a uh, it's kind of a chore well let's let's uh let, let's spread the mortars out a bit there there maybe all right now this mortar looks out of place see like 
This is why I don't like designing bases. Now it's like unsymmetric. It's so unsymmetrical. It, it's not going to matter. I'm not going to let it get to me, at least today. It did a little bit. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. This was the push to a thousand with one strat. And I want to know, nickname for the strat, because Scorcher Medic Bombardier, it, it doesn't really flow. The SMB, I kind of like that using the SMB strap. But yeah, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.